This Kirby game is not what I expected. I haven't followed all 30 whatever games in the series, but I've played the crap out of some Dreamland, and I was not expecting the Forgotten Land demo to be this fun. I've been aware of the Kirby games releasing over time, but I never felt the need to purchase them. They aren't long games, you can beat them in less than 10 hours, especially if you know what you're doing. Because of this, I usually feel like the Kirby games are never worth the full $60 price tag that they come with. The demo alone convinced me Forgotten Land is worth the investment. This game is going to be amazing, I have such high hopes. Oh god, I hope that I don't disappoint. Kirby has finally taken a different approach. The developers have stepped away from the usual side-scrolling formula and gracefully fell into a 3D world. While it's not a completely open-world experience, there's still a lot to explore in each level. Your path is still pretty linear, but if you stray from that line, there's a bunch of secrets to find out of sight. Like Kirby in water! Look at him! Oh, he's floating! I stepped into the water without knowing this floaty god existed. Squishy Kirby and floaty feet Kirby are also great selling points. When playing through the demo, one of the side quests to complete is finding and blooming the red tulips that are hidden around the world. For whatever reason, finding these is completely addicting. They are in unseen areas around each stage, and they force you to go out of your way to search the outskirts of the level. In the process, you tend to find a bunch of other things to destroy and collect coins that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise. While you're running around looking for flower buds, you tend to find secret paths that lead you to hidden areas around the stage. Some of these can be accessed with just normal Kirby, but others need a mouthful Kirby. You always have to be on the lookout for cracks that can be stabbed or boxes blocking a path. While you can just run through the stage doing everything you're supposed to do, the fun is finding the secrets. And while running around these secret paths, you'll find some gotcha game rewards. For whatever reason, I'm super excited to find these pointless plastic toys. Kind of brings back the excitement of getting these as a kid, but after you open one, it just becomes trash and you get excited to find another all over again. I'm just really excited to collect virtual trash. The demo was pretty short, you can run through the whole thing in about 30 minutes, but my god, it was a great 30 minutes. The end of the demo gives you an exclusive look at a trailer showcasing more gameplay that you have yet to experience, more mouthful modes, more enemies. Over the past few weeks, Nintendo has also shared some extra snippets from the game on Twitter, like fishing. Kirby is hands down the cutest fisherman around. I was not prepared for this game to have a whole fishing minigame inside of it. So it makes me think what else this game is hiding. I'm so interested in the unexpected, the little things in the game that add the extra spice. The mechanics you don't expect to make a world of difference, even if it's just Kirby and a floaty. Are you excited for Kirby? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye!